Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together, but first try it on your own. When you're ready, press play and we'll talk about it. Okay, so let's read the question. It says that the table below shows the cost of mailing a postcard in different years. So here are the years. 1898, so we're going back to the 19th century. And then we've got later years in the 20th century, 1971, 1985, and then more recent years, 2006, 2012. You can see that the cost is going up, right? From one cent all the way to 35 cents, and then, of course, more today. Uh, they want to know which time interval did the cost increase at the greatest average rate, and that's a way of saying which integral has the greatest slope. So here we can calculate them in detail, but let's just set them up and compare. There might be a shortcut there. So from 1898 to 1971, we were essentially going up, right, um, five cents. So our cost, that would be my delta Y. That's my rise. That's the amount I want to focus on. How much is the cost increasing by over what interval? What's our time interval X? So how many years is that? Well, it's 71 years in the 20th century and two years in the 19th century. That's 73 years. That's our slope. The next one, 1971 to 85, we're going up now 6 to 14. That's going up uh, 8 cents over the co course of how many years? Well, 71 to 85 is 14 years, right? And then 85 to 2006, we're going up 21 years, and the cost is going up 10 cents. But then in 2006 to 2012, it's only going up six years, but the cost is going up 11 cents. Now, without any detailed comparison, I know the answer is four, because that's the only fraction that's greater than one, right? 11 divided by six, this goes into 11 once with a remainder of five. So it's one and five sixths. Every other case, the average rate of change is less than one. So the biggest change is here in this interval between 2006 and 2012. All right, I hope this helps.